Hello everyone, welcome to Epic Knowledge. This is Yamin, and in this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can create custom login and registration in Laravel 8. I am going to show you from the very beginning. So let's get started. First of all, we are going to create a Laravel project uh, inside this folder. So you can just uh, shift and right click on the mouse and use uh, PowerShell window here, or you can also just uh, use CMD from here as well. We are going to use CMD for this tutorial. Now for creating Laravel project, we just need to say Laravel new and then the project name. Let's say project name will be custom auth and then press enter. It will create a Laravel project uh, name custom auth. Once the project is installed, just uh, close the CMD and go inside this project, which is custom auth and just write over here uh, CMD and press enter. And we will see over here PHP artisan serve and press enter. Sorry, uh, PHP artisan serve. Okay, let's copy this and paste it inside our browser. Here you can see this is our Laravel project. Okay, now we are going to install JSTEAM. Uh, it will uh, install JSTEAM uh, in the project and then we are we will modify the JSTEAM to create our uh, custom uh, login and registration. So for installing JSTEAM, first of all, we need to write composer require Laravel slash JSTEAM and then press enter. It will install the JSTEAM. Once you install JSTEAM, we need to uh, install LiveWire. So for this, we need to say PHP Artisan uh, JSTEAM, then clone install uh, LiveWire. Okay, then press enter. It will install LiveWire. After installing LiveWire, we need to run these two commands: npm install and npm run dev. So I'll just copy the npm install first. Control C and Control V. Press enter. After npm install, we need to write npm run dev. So let's copy this and paste it over here and press enter. Okay, npm run dev is also installed. So let's uh, open our uh, custom auth project using Sublime Text. Local list G, then YouTube here it's custom auth okay so let's open it now we will uh, first uh, set up our database so for set up in database we need to go to dot env file and over here we can see that uh, by default we have a uh, our database name is custom auth let's change it to custom auth 8 and let's save it Control s and if you make any changes in the dot env you need to restart your server as well so I'll just see uh, press Control C and then write PHP Artisan Serve and press Enter again. Okay, so now uh, let's uh, go to database and then migration. Here you can see we have a lot of table that was uh, by default created by Laravel JSTEAM, and we'll go inside uh, user table and over here we will add two more field uh, one of them will be uh, address and the other one will be phone number so let's just uh, copy it from here and let's just say uh, this one will be address uh, let's also make it nullable okay and let's uh, copy it and uh, this one will be phone number let's say phone okay so let's save it control s now we need to uh, do one more things go to app then over here uh, you can see models user.php now down here you see name email and password but we just added two more field which is address and phone right so we need to add them over here as well so let's just copy it over here and paste it over here. Let's say over here uh, address and the other one will be phone. 
okay so let's save it control s now we need to migrate this table so let's go over here and say uh, php artisan okay uh, before migrating uh, we need to create a, a database uh, over here you can see custom update right we need to create this database over here so just click new and then uh, over here you can see database name i will just copy the database name over here control c and uh, control v let's click create okay customer database is created now we can write uh, php artisan migrate and then press enter you can see that all the database uh, table is migrated in the database so if we just refresh over here you can see that all the table over here let's click users you can see name email address phone number and password so everything is done perfectly so uh, now we will go back to our code and uh, then we will go uh, over here resource then views and then over here you can see auth uh, inside auth there is a file register.blade.php just click it and uh, we are going to uh, make some changes over here but before that I would like to show you some changes over here uh, here you can see login and registration field right if you click register yeah you can see that name email and password and confirm password field we are going to add two more input field over here which will be uh, address field and the phone number field okay so let's make the changes uh, over here let's just uh, copy this name field from here control c and let's paste it after email two times okay let's uh, this will be our phone number let's over here phone and uh, over here it will be uh, address Uh, over here the type will be text and uh, for phone number the type will be uh, number so let's save it control s and uh, if we refresh our registration field you can see that uh, we have phone and address field over here so we need to make some more changes uh, we need to go inside app then action over here you can see 45 inside 45 uh, create new user just click it and over here we are going to add our address and phone number phone field over here let's say over here uh, address and let's say over here phone okay and let's also do, do the same thing over here as well I'll just copy it and paste it two times uh, let's this one will be phone and uh, this one will be address so let's save it control s and uh, let's go to our browser and refresh now let's try to register password on two three four five six seven eight on two three four five six seven eight and click register here you can see that we are able to successfully register this is our dashboard and if we go to our database and uh, refresh over here you can see all the data name email then address phone number okay so uh, let's uh, go back to our code again uh, 
first of all let's just uh, log out and uh, over here you can see that login we are actually logging using uh, email and password let's try to log in over here okay so we can log in over here successfully so let's uh, change something over here let's say we want to log in using a name instead of email we will make it name over here so let's go back to our code and for this we need to go inside uh, views then auth and over here uh, login.blade.php over here we will make changes over here uh, you can see that email field uh, is this one so we will uh, make it from email to name let's over here name and so this time the type will be text so save it control s now we will go inside config uh, which is uh, over here you can see config and inside config uh, we will go 45.php over here and just down here you will see username equal email right we will change this email to name okay so let's save it and let's go back to our uh, go back to our here and let's refresh and let's try to log in using name let's say on two three four five six seven eight and click login okay we can log in using our name so that's how you can uh, make custom login and registration uh, now one more thing if you want to like uh, go to another page uh, instead of dashboard then then you have to create a view uh, and then uh, make some changes in the route and the providers uh, this dashboard view is actually coming from uh, uh, coming from over here and uh, this dashboard is called from our routes web.php from here so let's say you want to like create another view and uh, after logging you want to login you want to show that view okay so first of all uh, let's make the changes over here control c and just paste it over here uh, instead of dashboard slash dashboard we will say over here slash home and return view home and uh, name will be home now we don't have this view like home.blade.php so we need to create it over here but before that uh, we need to go inside provider uh, which is over here after model provider then route service provider and over here we need to say it uh, instead of uh, slash dashboard we need to make it home slash home okay so let's save it uh, control s now we need to create this home view so just right click on the views and then new file let's say home dot blade dot php control s save now let's say uh, html uh, let's just say a normal thing over here h on this is uh, let's say new home okay so let's save it control s now let's log out from here and let's log in again yamin yeah, then password on two three four five six seven eight click login here you can see this is uh, our new home view okay so this is how we can make a complete custom uh, login and registration in laravel and thank you very much for watching this video and I would really appreciate if you subscribe this channel and like the video as well. And again, thanks for watching.